friends! So, I'm hopping on to share with you how sick and crazy we are because we went out for Build-A-Bear yesterday. Now, it completely skipped my mind that it was going to be a complete manhouse. I, I did tell the kids there would be waiting, that there would be a line. And I brought them like a backpack with books and a couple toys, but I didn't bring snacks. We only had like one or two water bottles and I don't know, I just didn't think it was gonna be so crazy. So really why we went was just because, like it was on a total whim. We never do this. Um, we have never stood in line for anything else in our whole life. I've never stood in line for tickets. I've never stood in line for Black Friday or Great Thursday or any other like thing being released. I've never stood in line for like brand new Jordans. I have never stood in line before, guys. I mean, some lines. You get it. So I just don't know what we were thinking, but. It was like a singing huge mall, which I was like, oh my goodness, where even is this place? And there's just people everywhere. So um, we got there at the time the store regularly opened, which was 10. I was trying to be an hour early, but um, our location outside of Philadelphia opened up at 9. The mall opened at 8. And the mall lady said that people were there outside the mall waiting for it to open even before 8 o'clock. So we definitely were not near the front of the line. Um, and it was crazy. Like the first couple hours was probably the most hectic because everyone was trying to figure out where is the line, which direction to go in. Um, all the mall security, the mall marketing team, the Build-A-Bear people, everyone was just totally overwhelmed because they just didn't think it was going to be on such a large scale. We saw multiple daycare field trips. They had like 15 kids and like two or three adults. Um, and they were unprepared as well. They didn't pack lunches. They did like they were literally there all day with like three and four year olds, like a whole group of them. It was nuts. So. So after the first like four or five hours when like most of like the deserters had left and were like, oh, this isn't worth it. Then um, there was like the security people had like finally got a ta like a handle on what is going on. They said, okay, um, we were like, ah, like we we're like the it's past the point of no return people, I guess, which who, who knew we were those type of people. Um, and then um, we just ended up staying, so we found really cool people to talk to. We're brand new here in Philadelphia, so it's actually a really great opportunity to like pick people's brains. We found out tons of stuff about schools, um, homeschooling, um, clubs, sports, free stuff, fun stuff, like just like all sorts of things. Um, and it's just fun to talk to people and just meet new people. So we actually had a really great time. I think that helped the time pass so fast. We were there for nine and a half hours. That's like when we finally got out of the store was after nine and a half hours. So, um, but like the kids did so amazing. There was like tons of kids to play with, of course. Um, they were like super well behaved, so I'm like really, really proud of them. And we just had so many neat people standing by us that were like super friendly and wanted to talk to us too. And they didn't mind that we were like, so where's this and what's this and what's all these things? And um, now we're like Facebook friends and stuff, so I hope we'll be hanging out. We had a lot of fun yesterday. Um, there was um, there was no like drama as far as I know. Like at our location, nothing was like shut down. To like there was no like riots or fights or anything. So I think um, pretty much everyone handled it with grace and ease. And you either just decided to say or you decided not to, and it went really well. Some people did try and cut the line, like two people behind us, but a security guard walked by and was like 
I told you to go to the back and they didn't say anything and she kept walking and then like five seconds later the girl right behind them was like yeah you shouldn't have got in front of me <laughs> and and then after a minute or so they did um they did remove themselves because they didn't belong there but the whole the, that was it that was so minor um we finally got in to talk to the to see the build -a bear people and of course um they were totally unprepared we asked them like did they know like all of this was going on and they said they had one week notice and um the corporate or whoever had just told them there was going to be a big event at the store on this day so just be ready there's a big event and they pretty much found out when like the rest of the world found out and um they had set up some you know those like black lines that you just like keep people in lines with like the stretchy things and the posts um they had stretched one of those down the hallway maybe like four stores and this was like a three level mall and it was huge i bet if you walked around the whole mall it was like almost a mile and the, the line went around the whole mall it was like over a, probably like a mile worth of people they said they did close to 600 bears and they did like 50 to 60 bears per hour so it was it, it was a long time but we had a great time everyone was in a great mood we came home the kids were late to bed but just it worked out great and we got such good info from the people that we were standing around that was extremely valuable and um there's really no other time that our family is just standing around being with each other and not doing anything else most of our phones died or we had like taken them all the way downstairs to this like lockbox charging station you can actually just like leave it there um, and come back for it later um, so we weren't looking at our phones a ton I wasn't cleaning or cooking or doing all these other things where the kids are like mommy are you gonna play with us or take us to the playground you know so I, I feel like we felt like we actually got to like hang out as a family and just be face to face with each other all day um, and it just went really smooth for us and so we had a good experience it was long I'm, I am surprised we stayed the whole time we wouldn't have done that if we knew that was happening so um, yeah it was just one of those random days um, but it went really well so I'm sure that the build -Bear people will be taking lots of feedback. If they don't, that's pretty unwise, but wherever I like find um, me and the people we were standing around, we actually came up with some pretty decent ideas. Um, we'll probably like put on their website or on their Facebook or something, just some feedback for the day that um, I think what would have worked really well, and this wasn't my idea, but um, one of the ladies in front of me, she um, had said first, like. Actually, if they had had like free tickets just to reserve a spot, like a time slot in the day to come, like, okay, I'm gonna come between nine and 11, and you get like a free ticket for that time slot, then you just know at max, you'll be waiting for two hours. And if you're not, if you don't show up at the right time, you just can't, you just can't do it that day. Um, and maybe like put a cap on how many kids you can bring because bringing a daycare with 15 kids is a little nuts. Um, those daycare workers were exhausted. They were being kind of rude to the kids by the end there, which I do understand, but you don't want to put like little kids in that crazy of a situation. Um, so yeah, um, I mean, I think it would be cool if they did this like once a year, but they're definitely going to make some improvements so there can be a little bit more success for more people I think um, so we had gotten there at 10 the security guards closed the line at 11 and we were not too far from the back of the line just because we had to like find the back of the line and that took a little while um, after that like no one else was allowed left or no one else was allowed to like add themselves to the back of the line but um it was a good day Asa and Ben got um, transformer bears they're like gray I can't tell if it's a bear or, or like a dog like a wolf but they're gray and they have like transformer um, like outfits on and um, we got Caleb a 
a dinosaur. So it was really cute. Asa named his Transformda, uh, which is very cute. And we couldn't tell what Ben was saying, so his is named Captain Jet Speed, which is a very Ben thing. Um, and ben, and the dino is just called Rex. But so that was our crazy experience. <laughs> We're never doing that again. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hey, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, give it a like and a share. Tell us your thoughts in the comments and check the description for links and notes. You probably have a few minutes, so click here. Stay well, and I'll see you next time.